Captain Falcon versus Venya in what is arguably the most aggressive uh, pairing, aggressive matchup for a grand finals that I can think of in some memory. Um, this will be interesting to see. Uh, so Venya's uh, mentality, as he said, is uh, I want you to jump, and uh, I'm, not, I'm just going to keep jumping. I, I, there's no reason why I shouldn't be moving, uh, which is also uh, Falcon's motif, except he typically stays on the ground and enforces a hit grab mix up a la Smash 4, although it's not as great now, but still very strong, and Nixie taking him to grand, so he's making it work. All right, good job. Catches him on the landing lag of the fair. That move is punishable if it whips. It's not a particularly big win. No, oh my god, he nearly kills him. Up air string to fair. Falling there to cover the get up. Oh, okay, he doesn't get the punish. Captain Falcon has very good aerial drift after the up B. Can be surprisingly hard to catch him if you don't know where he's going. All right. Falcon spacing out. All right, goes for the dash attack, gets the weak hit there. Goes for the um, uh, the stall and fall. I don't know if there's a name for it. After you stall in the air, but it does not fall. All right, very difficult to punish that without a parry uh, or a read. All right. All right, clean confirm. Had let him back on stage there, but he was right there to chase him with the down tilt. So now I wonder if this is a little difficult to chase down a kill here with Falcon. Uh, outside of a lot of the combo percents that he wants to look for with up air, uh, can still get stray hits here and kill. Back air will kill. But uh, he's going to keep eating this juggle. All right, 63%. That's not too bad to trade for a fresh stock on the Greninja. Trying to space out in the neutral. Let's get punished off a jab. Goes for the hard uh, roll in read on the platform, but no dice. Does still cover uh, with the weak hit. All right. Air combos, chasing him off stage, putting the presence out there. Goes for the down smash with a solid air dodge from Mixie. Oh my god, that was such a good call out on the shadow sneak. All right. Gets him out of there. I thought he was going to turn that whole uh, advantage sequence around with that. All right, good tech on that one. Yo, he stuffed the falcon kick. All right, falls out of the jab. Follow-ups, yes, he does have the follow-up. That's really tight at the lower percents. All right, keeping on top of him, restands, but he techs again. Nixie is familiar with that. All right, Shadow Sneak not quite gonna take it. Falcon kick killing on that one. Right. Uh, Falcon kick at that percent seemed really questionable, but uh, Venya going to take it on that one. That was still a very uphill battle, but with Falcon's confirms at the lower and mid percents, that was doable. But about what you'd expect, uh, Greninja does have a disjoint and uh, arguably better aerial presence than Falcon does, though I'd say they're both very strong aerially. Um, and Nixie trying to make it work on the ground with the dash attack, the grabs, uh, occasionally spacing out with the aerials. But uh, let's see if he can find the answer in his game plan in game two. And remember, we do uh, two out of three, even for grand finals here. So this could be uh, Venya's tournament win. Or no, Nixie is a winner, yes? Yes. So this could be Venya's win to reset bracket. All right, I like the up air chase off stage. Doesn't get any further conversion from it. Falcon kind of hard pressed to find a conversion there as well because if he gets uh, countered off stage, if he gets hit with any other move while he's trying to recover, especially if it swipes his jump, it's very difficult for him to get back. All right, going for the dash attacks. Does cross up on shield, so it's very difficult to keep track of at time. All right, that looked like it was supposed to be a pivot grab there, which is an interesting call. All right. Not getting in with these down airs. Trying to look for some sort of confirm, but right now Venya's owning the stage. Big clean spacing out with bears in neutral. All right. 
It's to an offstage situation, calls the high recovery, but doesn't get it. And for this, another thing is that Greninja can mix up his recovery just enough that the only way you can really get him is uh, ledge get up or hard call outs. You can stick the hitboxes out there, but it's difficult to outright take him out with just uh, safe option coverage. So he jumps off with the Nair, multi hitbox, a lot of time on that. Doesn't yield any fruit, but perhaps it will in the future. Good tech chase, by the way. Oh my god, just keep smashing him. <laughs> just keep doing it. Hit him with the water kunai. All right, so full stock down. Uh, percent included. Kind of a difficult space to be in right now. Venia looking in a strong position to reset bracket. Nixie, again, still can do this. Falcon, when he gets what he wants, he does have explosive damage there. Tries to go for an instant reverse knee, but doesn't quite get the spacing. All right. Oh, okay. I thought that was going to be... I thought that was going to be the start of it. Footstool there, but uh, Greninja does have a fantastic recovery, so it does make it back. Scary situation for Falcon. Goes for the down air, but does not get the spike hitbox, which won't net him an early kill. All right. Then you're going for these shadow sneaks here. He's got the full stock to work with, and he's not so afraid to lose this game. All right, goes for the knee, does get weak hit. He's trying to find these knees here, trying to find some sort of option to get that early kill, although now we're at a percent where Falcon's options in general start to cinch it. All right, grabs him on the whiff down tilt. Gets him in a jumbo scenario. Okay, good call out with the kick. All right, catches him when he comes back. No, no kill yet. All right, I don't, oh, I don't, <laughs> Auto cancel there, single jab, Gim. That's a new one. All right. So, definitely seeing a bit of the momentum. In, I was gonna say, I was gonna say Nick C's footing, but that that looked like Greninja's footing to me. That, that looked like uh, Venya putting his feet in Nick C and resetting bracket for true finals. I was mistaken. So we're going to pull it off to true finals, uh, still a two out of three. And that was a pretty convincing set from Venya, I would say. Um, not too much of a struggle there. If anything, in game two, it seemed like he was becoming more comfortable with the matchup. Uh, but let's see if Nixie can make an adaptation on this one. Trying to find the dash attack, but eats 30% off a of conversion for it. All right. Double drabs to try and look for confirms. Look for confirms or some sort of pressure there, but he's getting the wrong side. Oh, that didn't even trade. Uh, Greninja's forward air actively beat out uh, Captain Falcon's dash attack, which I'm surprised about. I'm used to that move having quite the box. Scenario. All right. And you see uh, a decent amount of Nixie uh, shielding here because while although he is not necessarily at a crazy percent, he also does not want to get swiped by Greninja at the ledge because that will, if not spell death, spell a very difficult situation where Falcon has to recover. Even though he's got good aerial drift and he technically has two ways to recover, the side B or the up B, they're both rather slow and kind of reactive. Uh, gets the trade. Venya's favor. Uh, no follow-up off that dare. Okay, catches him with the back air. That is uh, a classic for coverage, much like you'll see Palutena's do with the, uh, the fading up air. The Greninja fade back air does cover a lot of space. Nixie with his own, uh, Nair, that is, his own kicks. The battle of the feet. One is <laughs> one in boots, one webbed, one human, I think. One empty. All right, Falcon Kick. Been pulling out Falcon Kick a little liberally, um, which is to say at all. Uh, I know it is part of his mix-up on the ground. Uh, 
but a little risky, especially to take at these higher percents where Venya can get a punish into offstage pressure. Oh, solid call out. Okay, that's the kind of thing that Nixie needs. So now Shu is on the other foot. Uh, Venya does have to try to get in here and aggress on Falcon, and Falcon surprisingly decent at keeping people out. Are we going to see him keep Venya off of the number one spot? Goes off for what is arguably the hard read on here, because about a third of the time Nixie has gone off for a commitment. But this, that was the hard commitment. He had him set. He called out Venya's comfort level, said, uh, I'm not about hydro pump. Don't tell me when to wash up. I'm a grown man. All right. We are on tournament point. Potentially for Nixie. The pressure is on the other foot now. As Venya tries to find uh, a game to take it to the last of the set, the last of the night. All right, getting up on his face in neutral, not giving him too much of a chance to breathe. They're trying to be crazy. Good fadeaway and call out! That is. That's a tough way to start off a game. 30 seconds in. Shadow Seek, very low risk, especially with a stock lead like this. And at this point, uh, if I were Venya, I would just be racking up percent. Whether or not he gets the stock here, as I speak. 20%, uh, still a little bit of extra credit to work with. And honestly, in a situation like this, any helps. If anything, at the absolute lowest percents, I'm not sure if Captain Falcon's uh, weight and fast fall keep him out of Greninja combos, but I'd say at 30% he's safe to start getting hit by that stuff. Or maybe not, he air dodges right there. He gets out of the uh, up tilt into... All right, goes a little hard off stage. Gets back just fine though, tries to go for a cross up after the nair, but nothing afterwards. Cross up nair, very good option in that you can confirm after it. Um, if it's on shield, you can apply pressure right after. You can back off. Not totally safe, but very difficult to punish, especially depending on when you get hit by it. All right, does go for the ankle recovery to get a little bit lower. And see, one of the one of the big problems about this is that Falcon, when he's again as I speak. When Falcon is trying to uh, pressure Venya at the ledge here, off stage, if he goes too hard, uh, he'll get reversed, and then it will be Venya's edge guard. And as far as ledge trapping goes, uh, Nixie with Falcon has arguably a lot less options. He can mostly just go for uh, hard hits and hope they land. All right. Oh. Goes for the down air. Back air over there. That is a decent coverage option. Particularly safe. Falls out of the up smash at this high of a percent. Unfortunate for Venya, it worked out that way because he is now accruing this percentage. Can we see the man reach 200? No, we cannot. He's dead. All right. 70%? Uh, I'd say this is very doable for Captain Falcon. A lot of hits are going to start being really scary. All right, gets him an offstage scenario. Air dodges so he can't get back to the stage fast enough. That might be a really big deal for him later on if he can't keep the ledge and get this percentage on Venya. Side B, that is punishable. Was hoping Venya would hard commit. All right, good job. Let's nice call to get back on stage. I think first time we've seen him pull it out in the entirety of these two sets. Running directly onto the shield. So Venya's, uh, or should I, I should say Greninja's, out of shield options in general are, that was a greedy falcon kick. He was feeling the pressure in neutral. Uh, Greninja's out of shield options are not incredibly scary, especially if you cross them. They're good. Is Dash Attack gonna take it? Dash Attack killing at 140, 150 with the rage. So completely understandable. Does toss it out. That's uh, not super high risk and clips him. That was pretty good. That was honestly really strong of Nixie to come back like that in that 
he wasn't necessarily, you know, getting bodied the first game, but he was on the back foot. So to see him adapt that quickly and to bring it back for a clean 2-0 is quite impressive. Oh, uh, Devin, do we want to get him for an interview? No? He wants to go home? All right. So in that case, I suppose GN. we're... Did you say GN? <laughs> the end. No, GN. GN, good night. Yeah. Uh, I'll shout you out, Ralphie. Good Shout night, out to everybody. Ralphie. <laughs> Shout out to Devin. Just say GN and we have a wonderful night.